Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're heading out back into the world circuits. We're going off to America for the Grand Valley Highway. Now previously we did the Clubburn Cup 550 and the Sports Car Masters. You'll notice that the World Touring Car 600, I have got first place in it. Unfortunately, I had a recording issue. So we are going to be rerunning that one to record it for the video. A number of you have asked me to record this in race difficulty normal. Um, I have been running hard on a few of them and I have done all of these races on hard. But because my channel is aimed at people that are new to Gran Turismo or people that are, you know, average racers like me uh you've asked me to use normal so i am choosing normal for the rest of these videos so let's head into the world touring car 600 the car that i'm using is the wrx sti type s with a significant number of modifications so i've got racing soft tires on it but as far as the tuning is concerned, um, I've got a fully customized differential, which is set accordingly. I'm not quite sure why I've done that for some previous reason. Uh, I've got my output adjustment to 85, the ballast at 97, the power restrictor at 85. That's to get the performance points down below the required 600. The transmission I've got set to normal, although you're going to notice in this video that I very rarely get up into sixth gear and climbing up through fifth is really, really slow. So it might be worthwhile fitting a customizable transmission and then having a play around with the ratios. I've got a medium RPM turbocharger on this particular car. I've got an anti-lag system. Uh, the anti-lag system is off for the moment i'm going to set that to strong uh, the intercooler is racing i've got racing air cleaner silencer and exhaust the carbon brakes because that's what i've bought previously uh, the brake pads are just normal um, and pretty much everything else is all bulk standard so if we just come out of there and we oh okay so car settings let's just go back into the detail settings and I'm going to put the anti-lag to off. Actually, let's leave the anti... It didn't make any difference. I'm going to leave that as off. That's better. That puts us at 600. So this is the World Touring Car 600, the Grand Valley Highway 1. Number of laps, five. And we are up against Jaguars, Porsches, the Aston Martin, some pretty quick cars in here. So you'll notice that I've got the dial display up for this particular run. That is because I want the track map on the screen because this is a track that I'm not overly used to in a car that I've only done this a couple of times in. This is a quick car and it should get us to the end. I want to get past Heisel. He gave me a lot of trouble for the uh, Super Formula at Fuji. Very, very, very quick if he got out front. So glad to have him overtaken. Lopez and Fraga with two other really quick cars around there. Oh, Fraga's in front of us when I said that. Went a bit too deep there. I just need to get a feel for this car around here again. And over the next lap or two, I will talk you around. Obviously, you can see where I'm braking, how I'm driving this particular WRX. If you do go with this setup, you need to respect the car quite a lot. Although it's a four wheel drive, the back end will come round and meet the front end very quickly and very easily. If you go into corners too quickly, if you choose a lower gear too quickly, and also if you try and accelerate too quickly as in while you're still turning. So give the car a little bit of respect and you should be fine. We're up to 11th at the moment. This is a slow tunnel, a little bit too deep into there. Third through here. Oh, the two green cars in front, the AMG and that Lamborghini are very quick in a straight line. You'll see that they're gonna go away from me. 
So we're catching them at the moment, but as soon as we hit the straight, they're going to come by me or go away from me. So I'm trying to get on the back of Hayward in the Lamborghini, as you can see now starting to go away. The gearing on this car is not right. I need my nephew to uh, educate me about tuning these cars because I'm not hitting the sixth gear hardly at all around this track but it's a quick car with this setup and it will get you through the traffic quickly. I missed the start finish while I was just running uh oh trying to overtake these cars. We will talk you around it hopefully in the next one although I'm coming up against another gaggle of cars in front but like I said you can pause rewind slow the video down if you need to uh, I should say at this point that this is probably not the quickest way around this track this is probably not the best car the best setup etc but I am an average driver at best producing these videos for like-minded and similarly skilled drivers and so this is what worked for me and if I can do this you can do this let's just get through these cars I don't want to just force my way through I've been talking a bit so I'm not sure whether this is a clean race or not but let's just get through these cars and I'll talk you around the next lap just following the Porsche through can we go up the inside of the Porsche no not quite it's going to shut the door on me is the Porsche going to go away from me we're going to get on the back of this Nissan uh, uh, Honda whoa what are you doing braking there that was a bit unexpected just left it in fourth right so we don't run into the back of the Honda there Okay, so as we come up for the start finish straight, what you want to do is to stay over towards the right, sweep across to the left, and then as soon as you see the 200 meter board, you want to brake. So basically, I'm braking on the 300 meter board there, down into third gear, hug the inside, and then when we've got two cars in front, you want to chase them as much as you can. Take the left hand side through here drift across to the right as you drift across to the right just come off the accelerator a little bit a little bit of braking trying to stay out of these two cars while I'm talking otherwise you're going to end up in the gravel trap like I did earlier on down into third or second through there a little bit of door nudging through there that's probably done my clean race bonus and as you go down through here I'm braking where you see those tire marks third gear so it says the car dips in the corner third all the way through there third through there with a lift third through here with a lift and I, that's where I go sideways still in third and then we want to try and get the power down as we go through this tunnel stay right quickly up into third fourth down into third hug the white line drift across looking for the white line on this one and then we want to get the power down as soon as we can going to be quicker than that WRX I think and on this particular tunnel you're looking for the 250 mark or I'm actually breaking nearer 200 now down into third getting it slowed down try and watch for those lights on the inside of the tunnel follow those again third through here using the cones and the bollards flat all the way down the hill looking to that white line on the right hand side the white line on the left hand side stay over to the left sweep across to the right through here using those white those uh, lights and try and carry as much speed up the hill because remember we're only climbing up through these gears very very slowly barely reaching six over the top 300 bury the brake pedal in a straight line leave it in third follow the white line around back up through the gears using the white line here up in fifth using the white line here again just feathering it a little bit oh gone a little bit deep again oh a little bit of a slide just held that that obviously took a little bit of time 
out of me. Thankfully, I've got a reasonable margin to the car behind. Full flap at the moment. It's the third through there. This WRX is really nicely planted until you lose traction. You're going to lose traction if you downshift or brake without the car being in a straight line or with the steering wheel more than 45 degrees over and also if you are accelerating too quickly or you know with the, uh, with the full lock on then that upsets the balance of the car as well so braking 200 meter board down into third just watching these white those uh, lights on the inside I think it probably wants to be just before the 200 meter board actually and then it's a little bit more comfortable to get through that tunnel following the lights flat every day of the week through here including through in this tunnel so long as you stay over to the left and then sweep across to the right using the lights and then add it sweep across to the more to the left hand side of the track as you exit that is flat all the way through there as we go into the last lap, we are eight and a bit seconds ahead. So a nice comfortable margin, a little bit of a lonely race at this point. I'm clearly getting the measure of this car and this track now. So as we come through here, get it across, and then just a little bit of a break, a little bit of a lift, just to balance the car through there. 200 meters broken in a straight line that's too deep you want to be about 250 i think through there 200 is a little bit too late this one pretty much as you hit the dip just a very very brief dab of brakes third gear leave it in third all the way through here with a lift lift and a bit of brake for that one same through here if you're using this setup third gear is absolutely fine through there stay over to the right hand side back down into third watching for the white line just drifting out a little bit wide on that one again use the white line here over the bridge could probably cut those corners a little bit more I don't for one minute think this is a particular particularly quick lap of mine but for average whoa too deep there I don't know what I was doing. I'm talking and not thinking. Uh, for average drivers like me, yeah, this is an easy win in this car with this setup. I dare say it's probably super easy with other cars. And I have done this race on the hard setting uh, relatively easily in this particular car with this setup as well. So 11 seconds as we come up to the line and there we have it a nice easy win in the wrx with that tuning uh, to 600 performance points 11 seconds ahead of uh, takeda in the aston martin uh, 13 seconds ahead of the other wrx sti nicely done uh, gold trophy 92,000 credits in the bank so that is how I do that particular race not perfect by any stretch of imagination could be a lot quicker but for me that absolutely works if you found this video useful and you like it please hit the like button it all helps the channel if you're new around here please consider hitting that subscriber button I I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before my birthday in July that would be absolutely fantastic not sure I'm going to do it but that's what I'm going for and if you are a subscriber thank you ever so much for continuing to support the channel it is greatly appreciated in the meantime take care guys I will see you on another video coming very soon uh, I will see you then take care bye bye